Boss Fight Gaming. Get ready. Fight! Hi guys, Boss Fight Gaming here. We are back for part two of our Craftopia 100% playthrough achievement guide on Xbox Game Pass. Craftopia, brilliant game. Would have highly recommend it to anybody. Anyway, this is part two, so if you haven't done part one of our tutorial guide, go back and do that. You can find it under the playlist section or under our recent videos. So basically, I just want to have a bit of a disclaimer. This part of the tutorial is going to get a little bit more tricky and it is based on a lot of randomness. So I am going to try and explain it the best I possibly can. But if it doesn't quite work as easy and you aren't getting all the things very quickly, please don't hold it against me. I am trying to get it right for you guys and make it as simple as possible. But you'll see what I mean as we go along. So let's get into it. Okay, so we did end here on the beach so if you are just loading into the game now it might spawn you on the docks or it could spawn you here now any weapons that we don't need we can sell them at the market again remembering to keep track of which are your strongest single-handed weapons you will need to make sure that those are equipped if you're never too sure about whether or not you should sell something I would just recommend putting a, a safe box somewhere create a steel container or a wooden container and just store anything that you're not too sure about in them. In my previous video, I did mention seeds and selling them. Um, I've recently found out that we need seeds, so don't sell any seeds in the future. It doesn't matter what we've done so far because the seeds that we needed, we wouldn't have really got. But moving forward, we will be going to some dungeons, etc. So we will need to keep all the seeds that we collect, basically. Now, I didn't do it in this tutorial so far but I will be doing it in a future part of this tutorial so any seeds that you find put in the safe box or create a new safe box and put them in there anyway you might have missed that then because I was too busy rambling on basically you need to go to your container get five bioethanol get five cogs and two batteries come over to this machine factory and create the chopper or the helicopter now the helicopter is the best vehicle in the game in my opinion so much better than the others it's much easier to handle and you can get around using it very easily i would recommend putting it in your quick accessibilities menu at the bottom of your screen and a little bit of a tip in regards to vehicles or anything else really i've already mentioned this before but if you access it and use it um, get off it hold X while you're looking at it while the name's on the screen and then it will put it away and it will actually fully repair it as well because your vehicles do actually take damage naturally over a short period of time so I would highly recommend fix them by putting them away as much as possible whenever you're ready um, and you've built your helicopter your chopper we're gonna explore the little island our island just a little bit to get some of this pink materials just trying to remember what it's called titanium that's it so yeah we're gonna maybe 50 i'd say 50 i think we need so try and find 50 titanium on your island if you can't find them on your island the starter island just go for your portal and have a quick look around on one of the other islands that you have so yeah a little bit of titanium if you do have any iron anywhere like this always recommend picking it up can never have too much iron on this game there is a little portal and stuff on top of this mountain it's not really important you can use that one there or you can use the one down near your base whichever you want to use at any point you can do a bit of fishing here at some point in the future if you like but again we don't really need it we are just coming in for titanium again titanium is the pink minerals that you can find around the island again we need a little bit about i recommend about 50 Again, I always like to get more than what I need, just in case. So, yeah, we're going to take our titanium and we're going to bring it down to our furnace. And we're actually going to start smelting it. So, I recommend smelting maybe half in one and half in the other. Or you could even split it up like I do across all three. Or did I do it just across two? I can't remember. It's been a while. I just did it across two. So yeah, basically, do around 40, 50 ingots, whatever you think best. 
Um, as long as you've got 40 as shown on my screen, well, technically 39, that should be absolutely fine. But again, if you want to smelt all 50, again, that's absolutely fine too. So we are just going to wait for these to finish. Just to point out guys, this game does require so much patience, especially later towards the end, because you will just be waiting around for things to be complete. And hopefully you guys don't hate me for making you do that, because it is just a small part of the game. However, it's so easy. It's not like you've got to do loads of hard graft. It's pretty much just doing little bits and bobs, crafting, hacking, chopping, etc etc anyway guys i did do a little bit of clearing up of my quick menu at the bottom here and um, i would recommend you guys do the same because we are dual wielding i would recommend putting the most two powerful weapons that we have two single-handed swords next to each other on your quick menu have your helicopter on the first selection then your two swords then your healing potion I say healing potion, what I mean is your healing skill. Make sure that is also on your quick accessibles menu at the bottom there. Also, I would recommend having your pickaxe and your wood chopping axe and your glider. Your glider is not too important because you will access it as long as it's equipped. So technically you could have that anywhere. You probably don't need it on there actually, but I leave mine on there the entire time. Anyway, enough about all that. Once you're ready and you've picked up your titanium from the furnace, we're going to come down back to our workbench and we're going to create a titanium pickaxe. So use the titanium and create a titanium pickaxe. This actually allows us to mine gold and we need gold to sort of progress because we will need to make some of their weapons, etc. Not weapons, but tools. So yeah, titanium. Again, if you want to sell your steel pickaxe, I believe it is, or whatever it is before that, please feel free to do so. Just make sure you don't sell your titanium one. And don't forget to bring your titanium pickaxe down to your quick menu. Now, go to your level select or your island select, aka the altar of teleportation, transportation, whatever it's known as. Now you need to choose one of your six islands that you know is pretty good for materials, um, mainly minerals, so stones, iron, etc. We are actually coming here for some gold. Now, you need to collect 50 gold. It looks just like iron, copper, and stone. However, it is gold and yellowish in color. Now, you will see it on my screen very shortly. I am going to speed up the video. There's no reason for you to have to watch me do it, then go and do it yourself. So yeah, just go and get 50 gold or and meet me back on the island. Again, I'm going to speed this video up so you will see what gold looks like in just a second. If you do need to get to a higher place, chop down a couple of trees, go to your craft menu by pressing start RB and go down to wooden ramps. Make some wooden ramps, it'll allow you to get up to higher places. Anyway, so go get 50 golden ore guys and meet me back on the main island. Again, I'm just going to start speeding up the video now. You will see the gold in just a second but you just need to get 50 of it then meet me back there so yeah once you got your 50 golden ore guys make your way back to the portal the altar of teleportation transportation i always forget what it's called um you can find it on your map if you're struggling to navigate just press right on your d-pad you are the small red marker don't confuse it with the big marker which is your pointer you are the small indicator on the map and just make your way to the big square looking portal shape on the map if you do come across any iron i would recommend getting as much of that as you can however we are here for gold but you can never have too much iron guys anyway so yeah once you've got that iron make your way back to the altar of teleport tra transportation transportation that's it right so make your way back to the transportation and make your way back to your main island and then once you're back on your main island, we are going to head down the docks and make our way back to the furnaces. In fact, guys, before we go to the furnaces, I'm just going to go and check what we exactly need to get to the next part of our age progression. So I'm just going to head over to the other altar, the one that we can upgrade. And I'm just going to have a quick look. So, yeah, no problem. 
So yeah, as long as you follow along guys, you should be able to get that pretty easily. Again, you can check what you need on there. However, I am going to explain to you what you need, so just follow me really. So make your way to your steel container and we need to get 20 barrels out of here. Now you can just drag them all across if you want. You can split them in half by pressing left trigger. Basically whatever you find more comfortable. But basically I'm going to get 20 and I'm going to head over to the altar just to double check what it is I need again. So yeah, titanium, oil, bioethanol should I say and also some batteries now we only have 16 batteries at the moment so we are gonna have to catch a few more cows i do have a couple but again we're just gonna go through the process of catching a few more because you can never have too many at this point remember you do need iron ingots and sand again sand can be found just on the beach and iron ingots can be found on any of your islands so if you do need any of those go to one of the islands grab some ore and bring it back and smelt it into ingots and then Use that to create some monster prisms. Yes, I remembered. Monster prisms, pokeballs, whatever you want to call them. Make some of these and we're going to catch some more cows. I would recommend making around 10, always 10 when I'm making these monster balls. But yeah, craft around 10 and let's go catch some cows. Oh yeah, don't forget to go into your inventory and equip them. If you feel it's better, you can put them on your quick menu or you can just press X to equip them. Remembering if you press X to equip them, you will need to switch your sword back into that hand at some point. So we're going to put our weapon away by moving over to the hand on the right hand side of our quick menu. And we're just going to run over and we're going to punch some cows. I would recommend killing any level 4 and 3 just to get them out of the way. Any level 1s and 2s, go for those. So any level 1s, switch back to your fists and punch them until they're very low health. And then use your throwing technique with the ball, left trigger, and you should catch them. Should, being the optimal word. And yeah, we're just going to try and catch round 10 again, just to be on the safe side. Again, try avoid any level 3 or 4 cows and just go for the level 1s and 2s. I do always try to get rid of... Oh, guys, I forgot to mention, if you ever see a capsules crash nearby, I would highly recommend coming and getting them because some of the ingredients that are there are absolutely invaluable. You can get bioethanol, batteries, and black gunpowder loads of great stuff that can help you later in the game to avoid so much time so yeah if you ever see anything like a satellite that's crashed anywhere on your island a pod go and just click on it and break it down and get all the goodies i would recommend making maybe a container to store just those things in because they are very valuable however any bioethanol batteries go and put them with the others in the other box that we've already made remember guys if you do need to delete anything from your inventory where you store your sort of minerals and stuff your ores should i say i would highly recommend levers deleting them talons deleting them claws deleting them and at this stage i'm pretty sure we no longer need bones i could be wrong so you might want to delete them as well things we need to keep going forward are seeds we also need to keep what else was it seeds any dung or should i say fetuses fetuses is that right feces should i say not fetuses you know <laughs> you'll be hunting fetuses feces so yeah any feces pick them up any seeds take them with you and basically Whenever you got a chance, just maybe put them in storage, just out of the way, just so you can always carry more. And yeah, so yeah, just go around, catching around. Just use your 10 balls to catch as many as you can. Once you've caught, caught as many as you can, so around between 5 and 10, hopefully. We are just going to come back down here and use our monsters on these 
giant hamster wheel generators. So yeah, you know what to do. Switch to your cow filled monster prisms, the gold yellow ones. Come down here and fill the generators with them. Again, the reason why it's best to have 10, because if you do make any mistakes like I did there, you can then fill them. But we are just going to fill those three for now, because we do need four more batteries. Now, we're going to get more than four, because each cow gives you four batteries. So, yeah. Now, I do stash a lot of the stuff that I got from the crashed satellite in here, like my batteries, the fuel containers... Just basically valuable stuff that you don't really see very often. Just to just sort of get it out of the way, really. So we can still access other things and collect other mater materials as we go ahead. So, yes. Come over here and grab your batteries. Again, we need four just to level up. So as soon as we've got four... Again, just be a little bit patient. As soon as we've got four, we need to come over here and upgrade... Our altar, remembering we need 20 batteries, 20 bioethanol, 20 titanium. If you find you're missing any of those three things, batteries can be got from the generators. Titanium is the pink minerals found around the maps. And bioethanol is converted from wheat using the slow cookers. I always forget what they're called. And basically, once you've got all of them, we're going to come over here, upgrade the Altar of Civilization. That's what it's called. I always forget. Altar of Civilization. Come over here and upgrade that. And that will be Achievement Unlocked. Just while we're here, guys, don't forget you can support our channel. Give us a chance to make lots of new videos for you guys by subscribing to our channel. Like, comment on our videos and show some support. We're so much appreciative of all the support we've had so far. We've been growing quite quickly. Not massively, but we are happy with the pace that we've been going. So yeah, please consider doing that. Anyway guys, so once you've upgraded the altar, go over to your storage container and take out 5 bioethanol, 5 cogs and 2 batteries. Go over to the machine factory and create yourself a buggy and you will unlock another achievement. So yeah, so once you've done that guys and you've got your achievement, head over to your storage container, your steel storage container, and we're going to put back any things that we don't really need, such as the bioethanol, any spare cogs that we don't really need, and any, any extra batteries that we are carrying, because we don't really need to be carrying them at this point. Once you've done that, we're going to head back over to our furnaces. Come over to your furnace and we're going to create some gold ingots. So we are going to split this in half, half and half. Or you can just put them in max depending on how long you're happy to wait. So once your gold is complete, I did skip ahead there guys just in case you didn't, you're wondering. Once your gold is complete, your ingots are all ready. Again, you would have to stand around a little while once they're done. So you may want to pause the video while yours do. Um, once you've got all your gold, we're going to go over your ingots. We're going to go over to the workbench. I'm going to create ourselves a golden pickaxe and a golden wood chopping axe. Now, you need to then drag those down in your inventory onto your quick inventory, replacing the pickaxe and the wooden chopping axe that's there. Now, if you do get a platinum one in a box or you get a diamond one in a box by all means put them over your golden ones these are just the best ones that we can create really at this time but there is plenty around in boxes and stuff so anyway once you have made those and you've added them to your quick menu again if you didn't have your half on there add that i would recommend you can sell your old pickaxe and chopping axe just to get them out of your inventory so you don't mistake them but you will need your golden chopping axe and your golden pickaxe in your inventory and equipped well in your quick menu ready to be equipped should i say now i did just cut out a large chunk of the video there and the reason for that is i was trying a couple of methods to best get you these achievements in the most efficient and quickest way possible so 
you may have noticed I've leveled up a little bit and I may have some things in my inventory and the map or should I say the home base may have changed just a little bit but just carry on from where I am and you should be absolutely fine right we're gonna smelt some iron we're gonna smelt all the iron we can and hopefully we should have around 200 iron ingots if for any reason you don't have around 200 enough to make 200 iron ingots just nip into one of your islands and get enough or to make 200 iron ingots and then make your way back and smelt them all right guys now it's time to go and do a little bit of exploring or opening a little bit more of your world now this can be a bit frustrating for some people because we need a bit of luck to get the islands that we need to get our achievements so some of you will have to work a lot harder than others to unlock these islands we need specific islands that's why because bosses only spawn on certain islands and are located in specific places so what we're going to do is with all the materials that we've collected so far we're going to open all nine islands i'm going to put a still picture on the screen now so we need to unlock level zero islands level one islands and level two islands i've put the display on the screen there so i can make it as simple as possible for you to understand level zero is the island that you start on level ones are the closest to those islands and not and aren't as difficult as others and then level two get a little bit more difficult and are further away from our first island and level three will obviously be the next row once we get to there but anyway this is going to require a little bit of luck Please go grab a pen and paper, pause the video while you do that because we need to write some stuff down. It's a little bit of a pain, but it's the best way for you to keep track of what we're doing. So yeah, you will need to unlock all nine islands, as I mentioned. To unlock level one islands, it is 20 wood in 100 coins or money, whatever you want to call it. And level twos are 40 wood, 10 iron ingots and a hundred a thousand coins now this is why it's a little bit frustrating because if you haven't unlocked the island you may have to go and fetch those resources again so just keep in mind that it is 40 wood 10 iron ingots and a thousand coins or a thousand pound or thousand dollars whatever you want to call it to unlock um the level two islands so guys with your pen and paper i want you to hopefully you got pen and paper i want you to write down the name of your islands so from island of beginning which is one of one move to the right and write down whatever island that is so for example for me it's island of valley one of two but for you it may be desert of mountain one of two if that makes sense and you need to write that for each and every one of your islands so the third to the beginning island that'll be one of three but whatever it is for you and then the one above will be something of something two of one two of two two of three and then the one above that will be three of one three of two three of three so you just need to write whatever those the names of those islands are you need to write them down and that's because we need to come back and explore these islands later on but you need to be able to keep track of which ones you've explored okay now this is where we're going to find out how lucky you really were. So once you've unlocked all nine of your islands and you've wrote the, all, all the names down, you can check what they are. This is the islands that we're looking for. So get ready. Okay, so to get the achievement for our islands, we need the following. We definitely need an island of residence to get our King Mono achievement. And we definitely need the island of Frozen Mountain to get our Fenrir achievement. Now the others aren't as difficult because there's multiple bosses. So for example, we need the Desert of Valley or the Desert of Mountain to get both the Bone Dragon and the Dragon. We don't need both, we only need one or the other. So what I'm asking you to do here is to put a tick next to Island of Residence if you have it, put a tick next to Island of Frozen Mountain on the paper and pen that I mentioned. Put a tick next to that and then either tick desert of mountain or desert of valley now if you don't have any of these or you have some but not others that's absolutely fine we are going to show you how to get the others and i've figured out a new way to save on resources to get these islands so let's go in and show you how to get the other islands. so hopefully by the way if you do have all of the islands listed there on the screen then you don't need to watch this part where we show you how to get more Go look at the description, I will put a timestamp on and you will need to jump to the achievement part, the achievement guide where we are going to go for King Mono achievement. 
So just jump to that using the description below. But for anybody else that doesn't have all the islands mentioned on the screen, we are going to show you how to get those now. So let's do that. Okay, guys, so back out to the main menu by pressing start and going down to save and quit or save and return or wherever it is. And then on that main menu, I want you to click single player, then click on your character, wherever you named your character. And then I want you to create a new world and call it number two. Now on my screen, you probably just saw that I have two and three. This is because I did two and then I realized a better way, a, a, a way that will make it a lot faster for you guys and a lot more stress free. So once you've created your new world, you will need to click on it to load it up. You saw me click on number three there, you will need to click on number two. You won't have a number three, so just don't get confused. It's just that I did it twice and realized a better way afterwards. So click on number two to create your second world. Okay, so once you're loaded in guys, you will need to get your helicopter and place it down and get in. Remember, you can boost in your helicopter by pressing your left stick in. That'll give you a boost. Don't forget to never land your helicopter in water and always be sure to pick it up again after you get off or after you're if you're about to save definitely because it will save without it so whenever you get off it always pick it back up by looking at it and holding x that way you'll never misplace your helicopter so once we're on the top of the island we're going to go over and pick up the altar of transportation and then we're going to use that down at the dock so make sure you pick it up by holding x and then take it to the docks. Now the quickest way to get there is to glide from the top of the hill where you picked up the altar and just glide back down to the docks. And we are gonna use a trick that I sort of thought of as I was doing this. And I'm a bit ashamed that I never came up with it earlier because it would have saved me so much time, so much time. Hours in fact, hours and hours, right. So what we're gonna do here is we are gonna build the altar right on the end of the dock so be sure to do that so build up the altar there and then we need to change a few things to get this achievement easier than i ever thought possible press start and go over to settings where you change your auto save time change it to 30 minutes and then tick off the hourly auto save checkbox so from 5 to 30 minutes on auto and then turn off the auto hourly save. It'll ask you if you're sure and then you need to click apply the settings and go back. And now what you need to do is save the game right now manually by pressing start and going down to save. And then we need to purchase our nine islands. So purchase your nine islands. Now, hopefully, fingers crossed, you got one or two of the islands that you need. If you didn't, all you need to do is press your middle home button on your Xbox controller, press start on Craftopia and quit it, reopen it to go back into the game. If you did get one of the islands, obviously don't do this. You will need to go and create a new save to do it. Or you could just keep going over on those ones if you want to try and get two of them. Um, but if you've got one, I would just recommend saving it and then creating a new world. But if you didn't get one, what we're gonna do is jump back in the game. Jump back in the game, click on single player, load up our character and click on world two. Remember, you shouldn't have a free at this point. I have three, you have two. So just click on the number two and then that should load you back in on the docks. So it will take a little while to load. So once you're back in on the docks, You'll just need to do the same again until you get the islands that you need. And this way you don't waste any materials in getting the islands that you need. If you don't get them, you can just restart it over again. Remember though, to restart, don't press save and quit. You need to press the middle button in on your Xbox controller and then back out and press start and quit the game and then join back in. And that way you can get the islands. As you can see, I just got Island of Residence. So you just need to do that method guys until you've got all the islands that you need. Again, they are listed on the screen. I hope you've been keeping a note of your islands on a piece of paper. Okay guys, so the best way to list what you have is write main at the top of your paper, then write all the worlds that you have, your islands that you have under main, 
list them with the number that the island is as well and then once you've created a new world which is number two also write number two on your piece of paper but to keep it separate from your main and then write all the islands that you've just unlocked and if you need to create a third world to unlock the rest of the islands then just write three and the islands that you've unlocked on there but all you need to do that is repeat that process guys until you've unlocked all the islands that are listed on the screen and then we're okay to continue I do hope that all makes or made sense because I've been dreading trying to figure out how to explain it to you guys because the game is so random. But hopefully, as long as you have all the islands listed on the screen, we are good to go to the next part of the achievement guide. Okay guys, we now have all the islands that we need to get our achievements. Well, some of our achievements anyway. The boss fight achievements. There's some bosses that we need to do later because we can't get them this easily so look at your piece of paper and find out where the island residence is and go there so wherever it will so if it's on your main world go on to your main world and join on that island if it's on your island world 2 join on world 2 and join on the island once you start on the island of residence we need to turn around and head to the grid e7 it's very very close to where you start basically just turn around and make your way up the hill and you will be able to find it up there now king mono is basically a blue mono but he is the king now when you first see him he will actually be a prince do not kill him while he's the prince or you will lose out on getting this achievement i am showing you on the screen there where he is again it is in e7 from the beginning right there very easy and straightforward to find but anyway head over here and you will eventually find him now you may have to hang around this area for a little while you'll know which one's which because the little mono will have a crown on his head that represents him being a prince when you get closer to him preferably we're not don't attack him but when you get he's usually here right where i am on my screen right now which again is in e7 square on your map next to these trees and minerals basically anyway as i was saying one of these guys will have a crown on their head I usually come over and kill them if he isn't here just to sort of get the respawn refresh going but yeah one of them will have a crown on his head and when you get closer he will morph with any other monos near him and become the king so if you kill him before he becomes a king you will miss out on the achievement and will have to come back to this area again and wait around again and also if you don't wait for him to morph into the king then obviously you'll have to wait so Basically, come over to E7, try and near them rocks and stuff, see if he's there. If he's not, kill all the monos there, have a little bit of a walk around, then go back to that same square over by these minerals, and eventually you will find him. I'm going to speed up the video so you can see what I mean. So, after a little while of hanging around here, waiting for King Mono, he will eventually appear where I mentioned. Again, just clear these guys out. And eventually he will spawn but you're about to see him anyway so after a little while I noticed he was there did a little bit of mining and chopped some trees and I noticed he was there in the distance as you can see he does the one of the little guys has a crown on his head and he then morphs with all the little guys nearby and turns into a big king now you saw me swiping at him when he was still a small guy don't do that guys wait till he's big because if you kill him while he's still a prince you won't get your achievement and as long as this guy is on one of your nine original islands his level difficulty levels shouldn't be too big don't forget to always use your heal if you need to and make sure that both your weapons are equipped if you run out of mana for any reason just eat a little bit of food and that should replenish you so mana allows you to use your healing potion your healing magic so make sure that you eat eat now and again just to replenish that mana. But yeah, it's as simple as that, guys. That is the King Mono achievement. So you've got your achievement of King Mono. We'll now move on to the Fenra achievement, which can be found on the island of Frozen Mountain. So we're going to the island of Frozen Mountain next, guys. Make sure you check your pen and paper. Check where you wrote it was. So if it's on main, head over to main. If it's on world to head over to world 2 and go to the island island of frozen mountain and i'll see you there 
So guys, hopefully you have made your way to the island of Frozen Mountain. I have put up a map on the screen of where everything is on this map that's important to you. Um, it took me hours to clear out all the maps and to grid them and to put these on. So please consider hitting the sub button, support our channel. We do go our way to make these things as easy as possible for you. So please consider hitting that sub button. But yeah, so... You can either go to the center of the island uh, to find the Fenrir, or you can go to the sort of left hand side. So either B3, is it B3? Yeah, B3 or D4 to find this boss. Now, I am going to show you where he is at D4, but you can go to either of those. I've always found it easier at D4 because he seems to spawn a little bit quicker, but you can find him over at B3. So yeah, let's go and get him. So when your map your world is loaded up into the frozen mountain world we are going to get our helicopter out oh by the way guys hopefully you've already done it go back into your save uh, your settings and turn your say auto save back to five minutes and turn your hourly auto save back on i forgot to do it so hopefully you guys don't anyway get in your helicopter again remember you can boost your helicopter by pressing your left stick in and you will need to pick it up before you save or go through a portal otherwise it may not return so we are heading to the center of the island again hopefully you've got a picture of that map now I will put them in the description via a link to a OneDrive account where you can view all the maps and dungeons while well, all the ones that we need anyway so far I am going to be doing all the islands but I just haven't had time to do them yet because it's such a time-consuming task but anyway so yeah we're going to head over to where I mentioned so look on your map and head over to the same position it is this open area here in the middle of the map now it's not always there it's the same with King Mono they're not all the bosses aren't always there to begin with so you may need to fly around a little bit or move around a little bit don't forget guys if your helicopter is taking a lot of damage it automatically takes damage over time pick it up and replace it that will fully heal it so yeah I'm gonna run around I'm gonna speed it up a little bit guys um, I'm going to show you where it is there on the map. I'm going to speed the video up a little bit just until he spawns, just so you're not waiting forever. So I was waiting quite a bit. As I mentioned, it is a little bit temperamental to when they spawn. I ran around, chopped some wood, broke some stones, etc. Uh, what I decided to do in the end is there is a nearby dungeon. And what I did is I just walked in and walked back out. And that seemed to do the trick in making him spawn. So I'll show you where that is now. It's literally right next to where this is. So get in your helicopter. I did fly around a little bit, sorry first. So I flew around a little bit. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to go into the dungeon. And I added over just over here. And just over on this ledge, the opposite side, there is a dungeon. Don't forget to always put your helicopter away. And... I left the dungeon and I went back to the big open space and funnily, 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 funnily enough, he was here. Now, this guy is a lot harder than Mono. Make sure you have food with you. Make sure you've got your healing potion ready and make sure you have both your weapons equipped. I actually nearly died on this one because I forgot to replenish my mana. Don't make the same mistake I did. Always have food with you so that you can replenish your mana. You're usually carrying some sort of food anyway, like fruit or eggs or meat. Anyway, just bash into him as much as you can. As long as you're doing him on one of your nine levels, you should have enough. You should be able to do him easy enough. If you struggle with him and you find that you can't do him, I would recommend going back to some of the levels which we've unlocked and going and doing some dungeons again on the OneDrive account that I've linked in the description it does have all the maps dungeon locations only the maps that we're working on though not the other ones but yeah go visit some dungeons level up if you find this boss too hard again I did him quite early on I think it was around level 16 so as long as you're roughly around that you should have no problem beating him and um, don't forget Heal yourself as often as possible. And if you run out of mana, don't forget to eat something. Now, it does take a little while to eat and to use your potion. So, make sure that you try and get away from this guy before you use any of those. 
Like, I was nearly dead. He was nearly dead, and I forgot how to put up my mana. So I just went for it, and luckily, I managed to kill him. So I must have been level 16 or 17. And then, yeah, I got my achievement there, and you guys should hopefully have yours. Again, let's move on to the next. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there for this video, and then join in another video very soon to continue this on so we'll be doing more bosses in the next video so thank you very much for watching this video today guys hopefully you're keeping up all right and it's not too confusing it's very difficult to explain everything that's going on but basically once you've done those two bosses leave and go back to your main island and then we'll pick up on the other bosses very soon thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one take care and be safe Boss Fight Gaming. You lose. Game over.